Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to the video. Now, in this one, I'm going to be talking about the plot of Raya and the Last Dragon, and like kind of my thoughts on the movie. Now, um, I don't know why I wanted to do this. I just saw it like last night, and I was like, huh, this is kind of a, I don't really know how to explain it. It wasn't a bad movie, per se, but it was like, it felt rushed if that's how to explain it 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 did feel a little rushed because at one point uh, i don't know i'm just gonna get my like gonna, we're gonna be getting into spoilers now but um i kind of went into the movie predicting the plot of it and um i was kind of i was right on every single part except one part where all right here, this is the spoilers if you don't want any spoilers you can leave now three two one so, at one point there in the movie, this was like, I think the 30 minute mark or something, um, Raya summoned, like, Sisu, who is the main dragon, and, um, I didn't expect that, <laughs> because I, I, I don't know how to explain it, I really just did not think that they were just gonna be like, oh, hey, um, a dragon, what's up? Uh, but they summoned the dragon, and I was like, huh, I didn't expect that. But l earlier on in the movie, they broke a dragon gem, which made, like, the main villains of the movie. Um, they were the Droon, I think, is what they were called. Um, the Droon, um, they can turn people into stone, and, uh, basically, Sisu, the dragon, she gave her life energy away, and was like, hey, there you go, boom, they're all gone, they're dead, the world lived in peace, and then, mm, ugh, can't brain work right now, um, <laughs> but then the, my brain isn't working, um, I don't know, the plot was interesting because like they kind of kicked it off immediately and were like hey here's a dragon enjoy it and i was like you know i'm fine <laughs> i was like okay i'm fine i kind of predicted that um the dragon gems would be broken apart and then i have to go on a ginormous adventure and then go save them or get the dragon gems back but mm, uh, I didn't think they would summon the dragon. I thought it surprised me that part and then Then the When the dragon came they went to all the different parts of the world to go get all the other dragon gem pieces um, Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with that the issue I had is that it was really rushed was my issue is that it just felt way too rushed because there it, it just it was rushed if i don't really know how to explain it it was rushed that's what it felt like to me the movie don't get me wrong was really good but it 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 went very quickly for my liking because there was just like um hey here's a character hello i'm a character you know that's kind of what they did and i was like all right, I, I don't, you know, that's fine. Like, it wasn't bad. I think it was a good movie, but it was predictable. Like, every kind of Disney movie, there were no stakes, was my one problem with it. Because, okay, in the very start, Raya's dad gets petrified. And I was like, oh, yes, let's go. Um, But then they came back nothing bad happened in the end they all united and they're all living happily ever after she made new friends she learned to trust people the dragons all came back no freaking stakes you know i would love for a movie to finally give me something to worry about like i just want there to be stakes <laughs> please show me something that i need to be like afraid of like oh crap that's gonna happen to me um you know like, oh crap, this person might die. Like, back then in Disney, like, they freaking killed a mother fox. They killed 
They killed everything back then. And now they're like, oh no, we're too scared. The children. Everything in the end works out. And it's just like, that's interesting. But what about everything else? Like, I don't know. I think the movie was really good. But it was rushed. It. I feel like there were little plot holes at some points. Like, what the heck happened with a baby? You know? Like, <laughs> what the heck? happened with the child i don't know where they went um there was a lot that they probably could have done um the ending battle was really good i think that that was very well done um i think at the very start it was extremely predictable it was gonna happen mostly because i watch a lot of like movie review stuff so i i was like okay this is gonna be kind of obvious what's happening um and, I don't know. I think in the end, it was, all around, a pretty good movie. Um, I, that's kind of all I really have to say. It was a good movie. It was rushed. And it was, don't know how else to say it. Like, it was rushed. It was good. Plot holes. Um, some characters, all the characters were extremely enjoyable to watch all of them were really fun to watch i loved the dragon lady she was really good raya was a really cool character the baby was like oh hi i guess i'm a thing um then the little boy on the boat i really liked him i liked all the characters the story just felt rushed to me because like it was an hour and 44 minutes and they had to go to five different locations and do like five really cool escape scenes but it was a really well animated movie it was really good and honestly yeah i think it was a really good movie that's kind of my overall, like, thought process on it. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy me ranting on about a movie and getting confused for five minutes. Or how long has it been exactly? Let me see. Seven minutes straight. <laughs> Leave a like down below. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching my movie review. Uh, there's definitely some things wrong with the movie, but yeah, other than that, I think it's pretty good. Anyway, goodbye.